Hey guys, I'm Jim Labuda, and if you're over the age of 50 and feel like you're losing some distance in your golf game, you may not be able to hit the golf ball as far as you did before, then this is the video for you. I'm gonna give you three things that you can do before you even swing the golf club that will help get you more distance with every club in the bag. Be sure to watch this video to the end because you'll need all three of these setup keys to be able to get your distance back. Now, the first key we're gonna talk about is gonna be your grip. Most players will have a pretty neutral grip, which means that both of the Vs formed by my thumb and forefinger will point towards my chin and be pretty straight up. So what I want you to do is take a little bit stronger of a grip on the golf club. This means you'll turn your hands a bit more to the right for a right-handed player, so that now the V on your top hand points towards your trail shoulder. Then your trail hand's gonna go on the club so that the V's are now parallel. Now, because we're taking a stronger grip on the golf club, this allows us to close the face a bit sooner through impact. By allowing the club to close through impact, you're gonna be able to put some overspin or topspin on the ball, which will give you a bit more distance with every club. Now, the second key to get more distance will be in your foot position. We're taught that our feet need to be pointed straight ahead or perpendicular to our target line. However, as we get older and we maybe aren't moving as much as we used to, we begin to lose some of that mobility, particularly in our hips. So by flaring my trail foot out, this allows me to rotate my hip a little bit more behind me and feel that I'm loading, loading my right side. If my foot stays pointing straight ahead, then what happens is I can't rotate the hip behind me and I end up swaying in my golf swing. The weight gets to the outside of my right foot, my hip gets outside that foot, this puts a lot of stress and undue pressure on my trail hip, and can also even get you into a reverse pivot. The same thing happens on the follow through with the lead hip. If I don't have the mobility to rotate through impact, then I end up sliding my hips forward, again getting into a position that puts weight on the outside of my left foot, my body well ahead of the golf ball, and puts a lot of pressure and stress on my hips. So to improve your ability to turn through the ball and take some of the stress off your body, let's flare out our feet on both of our feet in the setup. Now the third and final setup key is gonna be in your ball position. So I'm gonna want you to move the ball position a little bit more back in your stance slightly, maybe a half inch to an inch with every club. Because we now have a stronger grip and our right foot is flared out, we're gonna be able to compress the ball a little bit more on the downswing and hit down on it. This will allow us to swing a bit more in to out, also to the right side for a right-handed player, and to get you to get that right to left ball flight and hit that high draw that everyone's looking for. So guys, you don't have to be over the age of 50 to use these tips. Anyone that may have some mobility loss in their hips, or anyone that is looking to hit the golf ball further, can use these tips to see massive gains and hit the golf ball longer than you ever have before.